To build your CNE portfolio, let's start with a header. Upload your best photo, a cover image, add a headline, such as your major or job title, and build your visual resume. Let's first start with your best photo. Click on the photo icon. This is your CN file repository. Feel free to browse your desktop here or upload images and files via Google Images. In this case, I've already uploaded some files to my CN repository, so I'm going to select this file, add the file, size the file to the preview window, and upload the picture. Now we're going to change the cover image. We're going to select Edit Cover Image, Upload Image, and this time I'm going to be using Google Images to show you other features that we offer. First I'm going to find file, select the file, add the file, size the file and select the portion of the file that I would like to use based on the preview window, and then save the file. Now let's look at the visual resume. The visual resume consists of 10 logos of the organizations you are affiliated with. They can be your schools, internships, jobs, volunteer experience, and so on. You select the top 10 experiences you are most proud of. If your institution uploaded a logo, it is certified. You can modify the start, end date, and description. To add a new logo, click the plus sign. Let's say you had an internship at United Nations. I was an IT intern from the months of May to August. Now let's add a Google logo. Based on what I typed in the organization name, Google pulls up any logo that is associated with that name. Size the image to fit into the preview window and update logo. Lastly, let's add the logo. You can always modify and remove logos. Continue adding logos to show more of your experience and help others know you better. Now let's move down to the headline. The headline is where you can state what institution you belong to, what your role is at the institution, and if you're seeking any jobs or part-time internships. My nickname is Jess. I am a junior at IEPUI. Once you have filled out the headline section, click Save Changes. You have now completed the first section of the ePortfolio. Congrats! This concludes the end of this video, and we hope to see you in the next one.